welcome back to my channel it's nice to have you here working on my house it's not always about big jobs oftentimes it's small jobs that you do almost on a day-to-day -day basis come with me while I get some of these jobs done so you get an idea of what day-to-day -day life is like here the first thing I need to do is to sort out the garden we've had lots and lots and lots of rain so the garden has totally gone out of my control and added to this I've decided to put fencing all the way around my property I'll insert a picture of what I want it to look like so the chap came and put in the poles required digging so that helped to get the garden in disarray so what I'm going to do is re redesign the whole garden. I want it low maintenance. I don't want um, the commitment of having to weed it almost on a day-to-day -day basis. So that's what I'm doing today. I am starting to organize it so that it becomes low maintenance. The contractor who built my house happened by with a truck full of soil. He says he was um, digging out a lawn and if I wanted it, so I said, oh yes, I like that. So I need to keep it wet and then slowly over time just pull out some of the chunks of grass and then I can use it uh, as part of um, the lawn that I hope to do. I usually start my day around six. Um, today I need to move all the cactus from inside the garden to the outside. So when the fence is up, the cacti are on the outside. So that's what I'm doing today. about four or five of these things to move I have to be very careful because getting stabbed with one of these spikes is very painful first job of the morning took about an hour and a half so I think I'll take a break have a nice cup of tea and then get on to the next job oh, while I'm on the back veranda let me just show you what I've been doing to make it a more pleasant place to sit what I did was dug it all up because it was all weeds and it was a mess and then I put down some black liner covered around the cactuses as best I could and then covered it in um, gravel I um, made a path from the back road up 
and round so you can get up the steps because sometimes that can get quite muddy. And I've put some pots down, even though it's not finished because I've still got to shift some more gravel on top so you don't see the black liner and find some more rocks to go around the edge. It's made a massive difference visually as well as practically. The next job is to water the plants. Now, normally this would take at least an hour and a half because I have a vegetable um, garden down the side, but that's not happening. All my vegetables are being eaten by bugs, so I don't have to do that side. So I just water the pots and water the garden around the front. So that takes about 45 minutes because I use the water from the barrels rather than use the hose. Next week, I want to start on the kitchen. I really would like to make kitchen cabinets and I want to make them really well. So I found a really good tutorial on how to make a straight edge jig. I spent the next few hours following the tutorial, step by step, making this jig. I hope it works. New day and I'm back at it again in the garden. so I won't be able to get this finished today. It's Barbados Independence today, so I'm not going to tire myself out because I intend to go out and enjoy the day. And later on, head down to Independent Square and join in the celebrations. A new day. You don't know how much I've been avoiding this job. I have to prime this massive space. But what I've decided to do, and it's all about perspective, I will do it in stages. I will prime, then paint the kitchen. And then I'll do another wall, probably in two weeks, and just spread it out that way. Then it's not quite so daunting. I really wish I had the money to pay someone to do this. Oh, it'd be so lovely to, to go out one day and come back and find it done. Oh, I can only dream.
and a half hours later, I'm done. I really want the kitchen done. I'm going to paint it tomorrow, even if it takes me all day. The next time you see me, we will start turning this into a kitchen. Until then, guys, bye.